Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack's mother said, Dear Stony Brook, go out and find some wealthy bloke who'll buy our cow. Just say she's sound and worth at least a hundred pound, but don't you dare to let him know that she's as old as Billy O. Jack led the old brown cow away and came back later in the day and said, Oh, Mumsy dear, guess what your clever little boy has got? I got, I really don't know how, a super tread in for our cow. The mother said, You little creep, I'll bet you sold her much too cheap. When Jack produced one lousy bean, his startled mother, turning green, leaped high into the air and cried, I'm absolutely stupefied. You crazy boy, do you really mean you sold our daisy for a bean? She snatched the bean. She yelled, You chump! and flung it on the rubbish dump. Then, summoning up all her power, she Ow. beat the boy for half an hour, Ow. using, and nothing could be meaner, the handle of a vacuum tube. At 10 p.m. or thereabout, the little bean began to sprout. By morning, it had grown so tall you couldn't see the top at all. Young Jack cried, Mom, admit it now. It's better than a rotten cow. The mother said, You lunatic! Where are the beans that I can pick? There's not one bean! It's bare as bare! No, no, cried Jack. You look up there, look very high, and you'll behold each single leaf is solid gold. By gollykins, the boy was right. Now, glistening in the morning light, the mother actually perceives a mass of lovely golden leaves. She yells out loud, My scented souls! I'll sell them many buy a rolls. Don't stand and gape, you little clot! Get up there quick and grab the lot! Jack was nimble, Jack was keen. He scrambled up the mighty bean. Up, up he went without a stop, but just as he was near the top, a ghastly, frightening thing occurred. Not far above his head he heard a big, deep voice, a rumbling thing that made the very heavens ring. It shouted loud, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Jack was frightened, Jack was quick, and down he climbed in half a tick. Oh, Mum! He gasped. Believe you me, there's something nasty up her tree. I saw him, Mum. My gizzard froze. A giant with a clever nose. A clever nose? His mother hissed. You must be going round the twist. He smelled me out, I swear it, Mum. He said he smelled an Englishman. The mother said. And well he might. I've told you every single night to take a bath because you smell, but would you do it? Would you hell? You even make your mother shrink because of your unholy stink? Jack answered. Well, if you're so clean, why don't you climb the crazy bean? The mother cried. By dad, I will. There's life within the old dog's still. She hitched her skirts above her knee and disappeared right up the tree. Now, would the giant smell his mum? Jack listened for the fee fo fum He gazed aloft. He wondered when the dreaded words would come. And then, from somewhere high above the ground, there came a frightful crunching sound. He heard the giant mutter twice. By gosh, that tasted very nice. Although, and this in grumpy tones, I wish there weren't so many bones. By Christopher, Jack cried. By gum, the giant's eaten up my mum. He smelled her out. She's in his belly. I had a hunch that she was smelly. Jack stood there gazing longingly upon the huge and golden tree. He muttered softly, Golly gosh, I guess I'll have to take a wash if I'm going to climb this tree without the giant smelling me. In fact, a bath's my only hope. He rushed indoors and grabbed the soap. He scrubbed his body everywhere. He even washed and rinsed his hair. He did his teeth, he blew his nose and went out smelling like a rose. Once more he climbed the mighty bean. The giant sat there, gross, obscene, muttering through his vicious teeth, while Jack sat tensely just beneath, muttering loud, Fee, fi, fo, fum! Right now I can't smell anyone! Jack waited till the giant slept. Then out along the boughs he crept and gathered so much gold I swear he was an instant millionaire. A bar, he said does seem to pay. I'm going to have one every day.